Welcome to EV Morning. Grab yourself a coffee and we'll bring you the latest in electric vehicles. Well, the first story that we'll give you today is all about some new battery cells inside the Tesla Model 3, boosting the capacity just a little bit to 82 kilowatt hours. According to a discussion that I found on Reddit for you, the recently refreshed Tesla Model 3 actually has more energy dense battery cells by several percent. And the total capacity of the new Model 3 is 82 kilowatt hours. Well, according to sources familiar with the matter, the 2019 and 2020 model year cars were 79 kilowatt hours. So the new pack is 3.8% more energy dense. That's roughly three kilowatt hours extra, our sources were saying. It would also fit with previous news from Panasonic, who a few months ago announced upcoming improvements in the energy density at the cell level by about 5%. That was back in September. And they said 20% improvement within five years. So we know there's more to come with the Model 3. Several percent higher energy density plus other improvements are the main reasons behind the improving range across all Teslas. Of course, the new 82 kilowatt hour number is related to the long range version of the Model 3, not the standard range plus. We do assume a similar increase will also apply to the long range Model Y. Both the Model 3 and Model Y use the 2170 form factor, cylindrical cells produced at the Tesla Gigafactory in Nevada. Okay, moving on, Neo have launched a 100 kilowatt hour battery and more details about battery upgrades. The 100 kilowatt hour battery features thermal propagation prevention, highly integrated design and all climate thermal management with the bi-directional BMS. The battery upgrade plan benefits all NEO users. Of course, NEO in China, you can have a flexible monthly or even yearly upgrade option with better affordability. So what's this all about in terms of the battery size? Well, you can increase the battery size of your car to 100 kilowatt hours. NEO models with the new big 100 kilowatt hour battery can be pre-ordered now. Previous users had a smaller battery. It was actually 70 kilowatt hours, and you can choose to either purchase the new battery or if that's a permanent upgrade that you want, or you can upgrade it uh, with a monthly fee. The flexible monthly and yearly battery upgrade is a innovation by NEO to cater for the Chinese customers. Prior to this new big 100 kilowatt hour battery, NEO had already launched a very basic service with a 70 kilowatt hour battery. It's called Battery as a Service. Users who choose a NEO car to drive with battery as a service don't actually buy the battery underneath the car. They subscribe to the battery and you subscribe to batteries of different capacities and you pay your battery fee on a monthly basis in accordance to how big the battery is. Users who do buy a NEO car with a 70 kilowatt hour battery and uh, can use battery as a service to have a bigger battery at some point in the future. For the purchase of a NEO car with the big battery, uh, that is of course such a bonus to be able to drive further and enjoy that extra capacity. There are battery swap stations that NEO customers use. You know, there's a total of 158 of them nationwide across China. They've served users with about 1.18 million battery swaps in combination with NEO's power swap, power charger, and other services. This new big battery does make those long journeys in China even more convenient. And from cars to vans, because we all want our parcels delivered with clean green electric power. Ford have debuted their all-electric e-transit van. And I have to say, of all the uh, vans and cars that we've seen, this one has the potential to be very interesting because it's a working vehicle. It's pretty exciting to see the e-transit. There's been lots of cars lately, lots of SUVs, even trucks, Hummers and Cybertrucks, but a van, because it's a working vehicle, uh, often means it'll do more miles, more kilometers than a typical van or car owned by an individual. And that means it's better for the environment because those cars, those vans are being used a lot, often for short trips and often to knock on your front door and leave you a parcel these days. So let's look at the specs. Usable battery capacity of the all electric e-transit of 67 kilowatt hours. It's a driving range of around 200 miles on the European test cycle, but of course, need to account for cold weather in many parts of Europe at certain times of the year and also for the van to be loaded up with goods. It makes an ideal solution to urban environments, for instance. 
A lot of routes that vans drive, especially delivery routes, are fixed routes. And so they know exactly where they're going to be and where they're going to go. And so fleet owners can very precisely predict how big a battery they do need. And this should cover most of their needs. And it's quite a nice place for the van drivers to be. It has preconditioning, so it's either warm or cool when the driver gets in uh, first thing. And it can reduce the service cost of ownership by 40% compared to those companies that use combustion engine models. That's incredible. It charges pretty quickly, has an 11 kilowatt onboard charger, and if you want to use a DC fast charger, it's a very respectable 115 kilowatts. So if you are on a lunch break, say if you are doing your round of deliveries and you've used up most of your battery, you can go to 80% in 34 minutes. Well, the Ford E-Transit has Pro Power on board, and that is a plug socket that'll provide 2.3 kilowatts of power for things like your power tools and equipment. So maybe you're using the van on the job site and you need to plug in. This, of course, will look after you. The E-Transit's battery is located underneath the body of the van, leaving plenty of room for cargo. They've optimized the rear suspension for the extra heavy battery as well. And here in Europe, there'll be 25 different configurations of the Ford E-Transit, things like double cab and chassis cabs as well. It costs around $45,000 or euros roundabouts, but that's still above the price of the combustion van, but not by too much. Well, Tesla recently powered up the world's largest supercharging station with 56 stalls. All of those have the latest, what's known as V3 supercharging technology. They charge Teslas, some of them, at 250 kilowatts. It's in Firebaugh in California. Now, previously, the three biggest stations with at least 50 stalls were in China in Shanghai and Beijing as well. Uh, the cool thing about these large Tesla supercharging stations is they uh, also have solar canopies to hide the cars from the rain or indeed the sun. It is in California where it's a little bit sunny some of the time. According to the uh, latest information, there's a battery storage system on site as well. And if you've used any of those latest charging stations, we'd love to hear from you. In fact, on any of today's stories on EV Morning, leave a comment below and we can continue the conversation. And we'll see you on the next one.